Hello, I'm joined by our doggy Poppy Seed and we're here to talk about two different concepts. Um, this video is going to cover two concepts. The reason I'm doing it this way is that these concepts are um, in some sense very similar. Um, in fact, they are both examples of statements. Technically, the concepts I'm going to talk about are subcategories of a concept we've already talked about, and that is uh, a statement or an unsupported statement. So everything I said in that video applies to the two concepts I'm talking about in this video. Remember, the point is that when an unsupported statement or what the book calls an unsupported assertion is all by itself, by which I mean it neither is supporting another statement, nor is it being supported by another statement. In those cases, um, unsupported statements or assertions, or um, they also can be called unsupported claims, they are not arguments. Now, the first concept I'm going to cover in this video, the book calls an explanation. Now, it's very important to be clear about how the book is using that term because the, the term can be used in, in multiple ways including it's often used to refer to an argument. As such it's common for, for people to see an example of an argument and they'll say that it's an explanation. It's important to keep in mind that an argument is not an explanation in the sense that the book is using the word. Again, there's multiple uses of the word. What the book is referring to, which is properly called an explanation, for example, uh, it's commonly called an explanation in the sciences. Um, another term for it is a causal statement. So once again, notice the word statement is right in that name. An explanation is a causal statement. It is a type of statement. It is a causal statement. Now the key to understanding this concept is to understand causation. What does it mean for a statement to be asserting causation? It's a very complicated issue that um, we're not going to get into too much detail in, but what I want to point out is that a, a causal statement or an explanation that the statement is asserting that there is some, I'll say, factor or factors, or could be a, a condition, sometimes it's called, is leading to, i.e. causing, an effect. So what you're going to look for in the statement is either there's going to be an explicit term that is a synonym for cause, or sometimes the context of the statement lets you know that the statement is um, trying to assert causation. But you're going to look for something in the language making it very clear that the point of this statement is that there, there's some sort of cause, uh, I'll say a, a condition or a factor, that's leading to an effect. John overslept because his alarm clock broke. That is an explanation, i.e. a causal statement. Okay, now the next concept I'm going to cover is called a conditional statement. Now it's important to be clear about this one for a couple reasons. Again, it's a subcategory of what the book uh, uh, calls an unsupported assertion. And so everything we, we said in that video applies to this. It's a specific type of unsupported assertion or unsupported claim, unsupported statement. A conditional statement. Another term for it is an if-then statement. If X, then Y. Now given what I just said about causal statements, sometimes people will confuse the two of them. So this is another reason it's very important to be clear about this concept. For example, when I was talking about causal statements, I said that a causal statement can be understood as asserting that a condition is leading to an effect. Well, you can hear that word condition and you might think, oh, it's the same as a conditional statement. No, 
A conditional statement is not asserting causation. Let's, for, for example, you say, um, if I throw a bone, poppy seed will run. Now, that statement is not actually asserting that throwing the bone is the cause of it. Likely would be, but the statement isn't asserting that. All the statement is saying is that under that circumstance, this other thing will be true. The other thing being poppy will, did I say run or jump? Whichever I said. That's a conditional statement. Um, Teresa will finish the marathon if she has time to prepare. Now, that may sound like I'm saying that the preparation is causing her to finish, but, but that's not what the statement is asserting. What the statement is asserting is under those circumstances, that second part will be true. The second part being she'll finish. A conditional statement is an assertion, it's a statement, but it's a qualified statement. It's saying under this condition it will be true. Often the reason that it's true under that condition is, is a causal one, but it need not be, and that's not the point of a conditional statement. The point is merely that under that circumstance or under that condition, the statement will be true. So it's an if-then statement. Now I, I keep saying if-then statement. Don't read too much into that. You don't always find the words if and then. You could say um, if John uh, studies, comma, he will get an A. So I, I didn't have the word then. Or you could have you can have, uh, John will get an A if he studies. That's still a conditional statement. And there's others too. I don't want to get too complicated now. But the point is not, it's not as simple as you're going to see the words if and then. The point is you're going to see a statement and it's qualified by a condition. It's saying under this condition, the statement will be true. Poppy seed jumped off. So I guess that means we're done. Okay. We're going to have two, maybe three more videos. One more explaining a concept, and then I was thinking I'd have a video with some examples. So we're almost there. See ya.